Rect transforms and anchor points are important parts of the user interface in Unity regarding the way that UI elements are displayed and also how they are arranged. In order uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to right click here and I'm going to create a canvas game object. I'm also going to right click and I want to create three buttons. I'll do this by creating one button and then hitting Control D to create the other two selecting the second one that I created and dragging it down with the move tool and doing the same for the third here so that you could see all three buttons. Now I'm going to double click this canvas to fit it to my window and then I'm going to use my middle mouse button to scroll in so that we have a good view here. Now I'm going to put one button make sure you're on the button when you select it at the top here one in the middle and I'm going to put one in the lower right hand corner of the screen so, a re the rect transform allows you to create a rectangle that a UI element can be placed inside. You'll notice that by default, all of these objects, including the canvas, have a rect transform, although the canvas doesn't really allow you to modify much. But all of these elements parented to the canvas uh, have a rect transform where you could modify uh, these values. The rect transform is used to store and manipulate the position, size, and anchoring of a rectangle and allows you to scale the object as well. By default, each UI element you create has a rect transform attached to it. Now, the normal transform, for example, the one present on a main camera game object, only contains information on the position, rotation, and scale of the object. One key part of the rect transform component is the anchor points or the anchors section. Click here to bring up the anchor presets. Formatting UI elements on different size screens is controlled by these anchor presets. As you'll see here, we've positioned these buttons at various locations on the screen. If we jump over to our game view by clicking on the game view, you'll see that in 4.3, in the resolution of 4.3, everything's fine. But let's jump into different resolutions. So you'll see that the screen changes size based on the resolutions we select. And in this case, everything was fine. However, that won't be the case in some instances where we have more UI elements and they're more dramatically spaced out. So how do we solve this problem to make them exactly display C? As you see here, this button has a little bit, it's, this is really close to the edge. If we jump into a bigger resolution, it's really less close to the edge. How would we make it consistent across all uh, points? And that's done by using uh, the anchor points. So here, if we select the first button up at the top, we want to give this a, a, a top center anchor point by clicking here. We've locked it now to the top center position. Here, we want to give this a middle center, which it's already on. Lastly, we want to give this second button here a, a bottom right anchor point. To match the same look, no matter the resolution of the screen, you're going to use these anchor points on these UI elements. As you can see here, there are a lot of preset options for our UI anchor, for our anchor points here and you even have stretch options. However, you usually don't want to stretch out your UI elements, so you're mostly going to be focusing here on these presets. Let's hit, let's go to our game view, which is sort of the equivalent of hitting play. We're just previewing what we're going to see in our game. And now I'm going to change these, but you'll see that the UI element moves, but that the distance that it keeps from this screen here is always consistent. The distance that it keeps uh, on this part of the screen, it's always keeping this distance from this edge. Same thing here, same thing here. But the UI elements are moving and adjusting themselves depending on the presets that we hit. So in closing, rect transform and anchor points are, are great ways to position and align your objects in Unity when dealing with UI elements.